Hello and welcome to the footballing hotbed that is the northwest of England. Our venue is Tough Moor. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Burnley up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. Thank you, Chef Moore. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Diaby. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Promising looking attack. Crossing opportunity. Well, still an issue here. Goodmanson. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Moussa Diaby. Coutinho. Johan Berg, Goodwinson. And he read it well defensively. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. There to take it away. Oh, good vision. And still danger here. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Alex Moreno. Well, a good tackle. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, he's blocked it! A chance now with the corner. Keen to take it short here. 
He's got himself away from the touchline. Coutinho. He must finish. And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. And a timely intervention. He's found a pocket of space. Coutinho. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Brownhill, Johan Berg, Goodmanson. Making progress. Redmond, and a textbook interception. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. It just hasn't been enough guile or invention. Well, wait a moment, Stuart, look at what's happening. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Coutinho. Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. This attack looks highly promising. Electing to cross into the centre. A deft clearance. And there it is, the half-time whistle. That's going to be all for the first half here at Turf Moor. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder, and unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And there's the delivery. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Well, pressure building, another corner. And now the delivery. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Getting forward. Must take the lead here. No way through. Ollie Watkins. And a good tackle. Good movement. Superbly read and executed. Goodmanson has a go. 
straightforward piece of goalkeeping Thirty minutes to go then. And continues his run. Real chance. Still could be dangerous. And second time around he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So underway again here, one nil to score. Into the advanced position. Putting his body on the line. Now just the tackle that was needed. And that wasn't a million miles away, almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. And a substitution in the offing. Message for Jay Cheatham. Hello, Jay. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay, from all of your friends. Well, as you can see, Villa are struggling to control possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Well, they've decided to make a change. Wendia, but he's got past his man. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Well, got there in the end. That's the important thing. 15 minutes left for play. Diego Carlos. Take it away. And threading it forward. Can he keep his composure? Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Well, the corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. And they're making a change. Keen to take it short here. Well, pressure building, another corner. He's driven in the corner. Well cleared away. Rodriguez. No way through. Leon Bailey. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Watkins. Can he finish this? Oh, splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. Time for a change then. And now the delivery. 
And a bit short with the clearance. Camara. Making a bit of headway. And that will do it. The final whistle is sounded and it goes into the books as a win for Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.